Hey everyone, Gary Goldberg with you here again today, and I've got another quick little Lightroom tutorial to talk with you about. Uh, recently, I guess right before the holidays, um, I went out and I grabbed one of these babies. It's a Fuji X-T1, it's graphite edition, and I'm really having a blast with this camera. It's just really, really awesome. Now, one of the coolest features about this camera, and something that I'm really, really excited about, is the fact that Fuji baked into uh, their JPEG, if you're shooting in JPEG mode in the camera, you get to choose from all of their classic film profiles. Now, when I was shooting film back in the old days, uh, well, it's not that long ago, you know, let's say 10, 12 years ago, uh, my favorite film was Velvia. Uh, it was absolutely my go-to film, and one of the reasons why I loved it was because it had super saturated colors, and it just had nice warm skin tones, and it was always the film that I went through um, for shooting just about all of my landscape photography and also my portraiture. Um, they've got a lot of really great film profiles baked into this camera for JPEGs, and if you don't know which ones they are, take a look at your instruction manual. Now, on the X-T1 manual, it's on page 42, um, a lot of the X-Series cameras have these profiles built in, so just check in your manual to see if they've got them. On the X-T1 Graphite Edition, they've also just added uh, the classic Chrome one, which is really, really cool. It's kind of got like this cool bluish tone to it, which is really, really nice, and I really, really like it. Um, but the point of this whole video is that we're going to show you how to access these in Lightroom 5. Before I go into Lightroom 5 and show you how to get to that with the RAW file, I want to show you really quickly how to access it here on the camera. So uh, we're going to just take a quick little second right here and we're going to turn on the camera and we're going to check out the menu and we're going to show you how to access it there. So again, I've got the X-T1 Graphite here. There's two ways to access to film simulation modes. One is through the menu button. And you click here and you go down to film simulation. Now one of the reasons why I like doing it this way is um, you'll see in a second not only does it tell you which one you're choosing right there it says standard but it also tells you what it's ideal for and what it actually does. So Velvia is vibrant reproduction ideal for landscape and nature. This one's for softer color, contrast, and a more subdued look. Okay, so that's that's the film simulation mode. That was the Astro was basically uh, for their negative film. You can quickly go through all these again. The classic Chrome one was the one that they just added for the XT1, and they also just updated it with the firmware version three, which you can download for uh, the X series cameras. Okay. Um, that's the way that you access it through the menu button. If you want to access it through the quick menu, you can get to it there by hitting the quick button there. Um, I'm going to scroll over right here. I've got it set up as a preset. And again, so that's your film simulation mode. and It's really quickly accessible there. That's the way I've got it set up. And then you can quickly scroll through these. And once you've got all the little letters memorized, you'll know which one's which. That one's Velvia. That one's classic chrome, which I often like to shoot in, so that's the one I'm going to leave it set to. And that's how you access the uh, film simulation mode on your camera. Again, it only bakes the film simulation mode into the JPEG file. Okay, now we've checked out the camera and we know how to access them there in uh, the back of the, the camera's menu. Now, usually what I do is I shoot in JPEG and RAW mode at the same time. And I was doing that for a while just because I wasn't too sure if, you know, you could actually achieve the same exact look in Lightroom. And now that I'm 100% positive that I can get that starting point in Lightroom using the film simulation modes uh, built into Lightroom 5, I'm not going to be shooting the JPEG mode anymore. I'm just going to be shooting RAW and using the film simulation mode that's built into Lightroom 5 as my starting point. So... Let's take a quick look at how we get there, okay? First of all, let's look at my image on the screen. This is my JPEG out of the camera, and this was actually the very first day that I had the camera. You can see here, uh, I went down to the beach, and I took a shot of this uh, 
lifeguard stand with the uh, lifeguard ring there to rescue people with. And this image right here was shot in Velvia Vivid Mode. And let's take a look at the RAW file, which is right next to it. Flat, uninteresting. The lighting, you know, just looks not that great. It needs some work. Okay, let's take a look at another image. I shot this uh, image of a streetcar during a snowstorm. Again, I had the camera uh, in JPEG and RAW mode, and we had the camera set to Velvia Vivid. Let's look at the RAW file. Again, flat, uninteresting. The lighting, it just needs work. It's not that interesting of a shot. Um, this shot here, I was actually trying out the... I believe it's called the Pro Negative Standard. Yep, there it is. It's a Pro Negative Standard. So the JPEG mode here is set to Pro Negative Standard. And this is actually the RAW file. And if you look at it, it's not really that big of a difference. But we will actually turn it on to Pro Negative Standard and show you how that works. Um, let's go back to our original shot with the with the lifeguard stand here real quick because I think this is a really good one to work with and you know show you how to how to get that look. So let's go full screen here. Let's um, I'm gonna leave the info button up there on the upper left corner so you can actually tell which one is the JPEG and which one is the raw file. So again, here's we here we've got our JPEG, okay, and now we're gonna jump into our raw file, our flat raw file. So we're going to go over here into the uh, develop module and um, i am only got the two tabs open right now. i got the basic tab which is up at your top of your uh, upper right corner of your screen. And then I've got your camera calibration tab which is at the bottom. If you've got all your tabs open you're going to have to scroll through to the bottom. I closed them up for the tutorial so we could just jump right, and, right back and forth between the two. Okay. So I've got the camera calibration tab open here, and this is where you've got the film simulation modes built in. And a lot of my friends that have Fuji X cameras didn't even know that this existed, and that was one of the reasons why I thought I would make this tutorial. Um, Adobe and Fuji worked closely together to you know, come up with these and make them pretty exact. So that's where it is, camera calibration. When you bring in your RAW file into Lightroom, it automatically loads Adobe Standard as the default okay but on the Fuji X series cameras you've got all of the profiles there to choose from if you just click on that little button that's exactly where they are so let's put in camera Velvia Vivid instant change out we got the saturated uh, look there of the life ring uh, we've got a little bit more detail Actually, I think it's a little bit more contrasty, but it just adds some life to the photo. So this is a great starting point to go and do some more work on this photo. Now let's bounce back to the JPEG. It's exactly the same now, so we know that they've done a really good job of copying these two and, and giving you a great starting point. So if, if like you know, me, you're, one of the reasons why you bought this camera was because, you know, it had those uh, Fuji film profiles built in there. You're going to love this feature. Let's go take a quick look at the um, streetcar. Okay, so this is the streets of Toronto. Again, this is the Velvia Vivid setting. Let's go back to our RAW file. Again, flat, uninteresting image. Go to the Adobe standard here. We're going to go back to Velvia Vivid. There you go, you got that Velvia pop, just like the film days. We're going to go back to our JPEG mode. There you go, it's exactly the same. It's almost like you can't even tell that I switched the photo back to the JPEG between the JPEG and the RAW. But I really am, and just look at the, the info button up there on the upper left, you see that I'm changing it. Okay, so it's a really, really great place to start. I'm going to go here now really quickly and do the same thing with this image. We're going to go to the uh, Camera Pro Negative Standard. Go back and forth. As you can see, that was the profile that I changed up there. And um, this is one of my favorite features of uh, the RAW files with Adobe Lightroom 5. And I'm really happy that Fuji and Adobe worked together to you know, bring this into the program so it's a really great starting point to work on your files I love this photo of the streetcar 
you know, and I, I, I'm glad that I've been able to, you know, get that Velvia pop now. To me, this image, it's a little bit contrasty and it needs a little bit of shadow detail. And I really think that that's all I'm really going to add to it. I'm just going to go in here and add a little shadow detail, just, just a little bit. And the exposure maybe could just need a little bit of, a little bit more there. What are we up there? Just, just a little bit over a third of a stop. And now maybe I'll just add a little bit of clarity. I'll even add a little bit of vibrance just to give it a little bit more pop. That's it. I'm done with my image. I, I kind of like it just the way it is right there. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Again, it's just a starting point to get you uh, to work with your RAW files and get that same film simulation mode that uh, Fuji baked right into the camera for you. It, in essence, doesn't. Uh, it will allow you not to have to shoot with JPEG and RAW turned on, and you can just sh shoot with your RAW files. And um, you know, it's a really great starting point to get going with you in Lightroom. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and we'll see you again next time. Take care.